industrials. Let's get back to President Obama's climate plan and bring in climatologist Roy Spencer. All right, Roy, come on in. Good to see you. You used to work with NASA. And I'm going to give the audience your headline as it was presented to me. You say that President Obama's clean power plan is all pain, no gain. It raises energy prices, 100 bucks a month for electricity on average per household, but doesn't lower global temperatures. I believe that's your headline. Now give me the story. Well, the story is that this uh, Obama's war on coal is also turning into Obama's war on the poor because this is really going to hurt the poor in America the most. Uh, right now, renewable energy like solar and wind, the direction that Obama wants to go, is much more expensive than fossil fuels. Uh, and basically, we're going to learn what Germany has learned, and that's that as we impose, forcibly impose high-priced electricity on the populace, our manufacturing is going to go overseas, just the way Germany's is right now. Yeah. Now, um, what uh, you also say that th this plan, this clean air plan, it's not going to lower global temperatures that much. It's not. No, and no, no impact and that's, from this. And that's what that's what we that's what we do science-wise. For the last 25 years, we've been monitoring global temperatures with satellites. Uh, we haven't seen any warming in the last about 18 years. And we already know that even if the scientists are right, which I think most of them are wrong on this, that the impact of us reducing our CO2 emissions in America is going to have an immeasurable effect on global temperatures. Mm -hmm. I can tell you as a temperature monitoring expert in 50 years, we won't be able to see the effect. Now, the president, when he introduced this plan to the public, he said 14 of the last 15 years have been the hottest on record. Now, I don't know whether how that squares with your statement that temperatures haven't gone up for 18 years, there's been a pause. How, how did, where, where's the president coming from when he says that? Is he right? Well, qualitatively, yes, he's mostly right. But what you have to realize is when the temperature is rising on average a hundredth of a degree per year, it takes a long time before anybody ever notices. So you can have the warmest year on record, and yet nobody can actually feel it because we're talking about very small changes in temperature. But it does mean that the planet, the temperature of the planet, has warmed. I mean, if it's up there, 14 of the last 15 years, hottest on record, I mean, the president's right. It's a warming temperature. Well, that's right, except that we don't know how much of that warming is due to Mother Nature versus mankind. Oh, so he's assuming that it is human-created. That's right. That's, and you would that's contest the common, that? Would you contest that's the that? Yes, I would contest it. We have published evidence, and there's getting to be more and more papers published in the scientific literature pointing out that about half of the warming we've seen since the 1950s has been natural rather than man-made. It's uh, because of more frequent El Nino activity, and El Ninos cause global warmth. So when you have stronger El Ninos for a couple of decades in a row, you get global warming. So that combined with the fact that the warming hasn't been nearly what the climate models have predicted, what you end up with is that global warming ends up not being nearly the problem that scientists thought it was going to be. Uh, Roy Spencer, you used to work for NASA. I predict you'll never work for NASA again. Roy Spencer, everyone, a climatologist. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you.